can be a destination, and I think that's what we've been hoping for. That fun environment that we've been yearning to see right here in the heart of the Urban Center. You're going to see a great, great jump in the conventions, the number of people that will come here and stay here. I'm just blown away. This is in Irving, Texas now. We are considering Irving for 2020 for our National Guard group to come out here. This is oh, okay. a game changer. I mean, it really is. The hopeful payoff, obviously, is that we have the opportunity to bid on and book at their future conventions. It's going to bring us more of those true conventions, those 800 to 1200 person groups. And that's going to spill over into more of our hotels. Businesses from restaurants to other retailers are going to see increased numbers because we're going to have more visitors coming in. That old school motor court with a contemporary Spanish hacienda feel and definitely a contemporary take on the social spaces in that hotel. So beautiful outdoor spaces, gathering spaces, really cool restaurant. We want to be considered the best institute for youth uh, and amateur sports that's in the country. And we get opportunity to do it in the city of Irving. The amount of visitors they're expecting through in year one is 750,000 people coming through this building. We love sports and sports tournaments and those events. They're great for Irving. They're great because of that weekend pattern and they're great because they're relatively recession proof. The first trampoline park in the city of Irving, so we're really excited. And it's all about just getting out there jumping because it is a physical activity and it is a good time. This is about 53,000 square feet of entertainment. Definitely been a need for a bowling alley and some family fun kind of thing, so it's pretty exciting. What kind of price tag does this carry? Well north of $8 million. I love it. I wish I could drive one away. This is a really cool event to have in Irving. It's something very unique that you don't see in a lot of other places. We're just encouraging people to come down, have dinner, shop at some of our local shops, and also we're going to have live music down at the Texas Musicians Museum. We're expecting upwards of 10,000 attendees total. I love the atmosphere at book conventions. Everyone's just so excited. So I'm not sure why people think that kids don't read anymore because obviously they do. We've got dozens and dozens of like the hottest comic book creators here. We've got several cool celebrity guests. I've always been very fond of the staff and the people that work here. And the city of Irving's great. Very accommodating and, and just wonderful people to work with. You know, it's always great when we can come together as state parks and recreation professionals and share what's been going on in our respective municipalities. And of course, they loved our amazing convention center. We've got a lot going on. I am with the Urban Sketchers, and I am here sketching <laughs> the beautiful new architecture here. It's just a matter to be kind of free and creative with other people that have the same interest. Ordinance 2414 was signed by Mayor Dan Matkin, creating the Irving Tourist and Convention Bureau, sir. Thank you very much. And this thing is so variable as to how large or small a group we can accommodate. So you were selling in 72, still selling now it sounds like. <laughs> well, as you all know, once you start selling you can't stop. It's going to be a great finale. And maybe some smiles and tears at the same time, I think, for a lot of people, including me. Looks like you're about to cry. I am about to cry. I am about to cry. This is sad. This has been a big part of my career. You know, the Irving Convention and Business Bureau have been supporters of ours from day one. Uh, we've never felt more welcome. They just really roll out the red carpet for the tournament. They're great partners. They've promoted our tournament for 35 years. Mar Gast and her team, you know, thank you, Mar. They are so good, and they've been so good, and more importantly, they're great friends. Irving and all of our partners in Irving have been so incredibly gracious. We've done a good job. We're sending them off with the best of intentions and wishing them much success. We're going to be fine. Irving's got a lot going on all over town and that's part of the story we want to tell out here.